Hello, this is uh, Theta Zero again. Um, we are going to continue on to layer two of the cursed Thumerian defilement. Um, excuse me. As you can see, uh, I've put the fatigued offering, the rotted offering, and the curse uh, upon myself in this one, as stated in the last episode. So, what we're going to do this time is we're going to go down, we're going to check through uh, this area and look through. And this one is going to be untouched, so you get to watch me do the whole thing. Um, it's going, I might have to cut it up a little bit, maybe, I don't know yet. <clears throat> I'm going to try to rush through it. Uh, and also try to take my time. So I apologize. I might have to do this uh, like a part two type thing. So yeah, I apologize. I'm going to try to do this to the best of my ability. Um, and I will continue uh, a couple seconds after I get there. Seems I forgot about this little feisty one. Uh, funny, because I'm actually doing it in the same day, believe it or not. Uh, I need what, two more seconds, because I've got to gather my thoughts. I apologize, I apologize, I apologize. Uh, very, very much. Okay, uh, I think I got it. <clears throat> I can't believe I got jumped by that little annoying... Oh, I went the wrong way. But by that little annoying one. Uh, there is no side uh, passage this time uh, in the main area. And there might be, from what I learned recently, and I know this isn't the same guy. I wanted to talk about this in the last video, but I couldn't. Uh, another possessed beast. Ooh, these guys are starting to get kind of beefy. Um, Ooh, that's actually a pretty decent one. What I learned, though, is that there are, in fact, uh, illusionary walls. I know some people told me that there weren't. Uh, some of my friends, anyways, on my friends list. Uh, they told me that there are not, in fact. But I have recently discovered through playing in other Chalice Dungeons that there are. Uh, this is another one of those uh, guys. Another one of those uh, hunters inside the level that I, uh, like, like I fought previously. This one might tear me apart, I don't know. If I'm not careful, he indefinitely will. Uh, I, did, I showed last episode that he is fully capable of it, though. And if he... And I should probably keep my weapon non-transformed, because he might, he might have those uh, stabs, but, you know, I can just... Or actually, I guess it's a she. But she might have the stabs with the saw spear, but I've got the comboing. Um... I'm going to check top first and then head back down to the bottom. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. How many spiders? Uh, God. Uh, I apologize if anyone uh, gets offended while I'm speaking. Uh, under stress, I have a habit. Uh, a bad habit. What's that supposed to do? Does anyone know what that's supposed to do? Uh, if anyone knows what the bell is supposed to do, please tell me in the comments, actually. Kind of an interesting thing. I want to see if it does anything by chance. Um... I might end up exploring a little bit in this one, just because I've never actually seen something like a gimmick like the bell. Uh, I'm gonna, I clicked, I hit it once, I'm gonna hit it again, uh, there we go, just so that I can actually go to see if maybe it opens up a door or something of the sort. Uh, if it does, that'll be very interesting, actually. Ooh, one of these guys. I keep just... Ooh, uh, we'll be right back. Ah, that was me playing sloppy. Whoops.
And we are back. Uh, I'm not going to make the same mistake, though. I know that she, he, girl, that one right there was waiting for me to make the same mistake, but I didn't. Uh, well, not entirely, anyways, because <laughs> I still got hit, and it hurt pretty bad. Uh, but again, the possessed beast is back, and I'm going to hit him again, uh, check and see what he has, because these guys seem to drop, or at least have a high potential of dropping something decent. Um, just blood vials this time, but that's not bad. That's actually very good. Uh, blood vials are always handy. They're always nice to have. Um, I don't have a lot of time to do this one. I've got nine minutes left, so I'm going to try my very best to try to get this done quickly. Uh, oh, I'm going to make like Ash, Ash Ketchum and, and not... I'm going to do the opposite of Ash Ketchum and not catch all the hits, though. <laughs> ah, that's going to sting. If he keeps doing, or if she keeps doing all of that. Let's see. I'm gonna do what like I did in the last episode, knock you down. Ooh, and there goes, I think, 60,000 uh, blood echoes. This is not starting off very well. This episode might drag on, and I apologize. But at least you guys get to see me fail, so that's that's gotta be interesting to some extent. Um, let's see, I, you, I, I'm not going to skip past any deaths, I'm not going to trim anything that doesn't need to be trimmed, uh, because everything that you guys see is a potential learning experience for y'all. I'm not saying, ew, I just said y'all, god damn it, um, excuse me, I shouldn't have sworn, uh, anyways. Uh, it's a potential learning experience for everyone, and I know some people are going to say, well, you know, you're making mistakes that I wouldn't normally make, or, you know, I'm not going to do, st I wouldn't do stuff like that, so you don't have to say, uh, this or this, but everyone makes mistakes, so it is important for you to at least see what mistakes can be made and what mistakes can't be. I over, I, I underestimated, uh, the speed of the swings, and I shouldn't have, which is, yes, a simple mistake. Uh, granted, it's a deadly one, and a deadly mistake is the worst kind of mistake, especially in a Souls game or a Souls-like game. See, that could have been a potential death if I hadn't lucked out with uh, her pushing me just out of range. Now, she made the mistake right there. Well, I made the same mistake, it appears. Oh. Oh. Well, that fight was not going to end the way that I wanted it to. Or it, anyways. But, see, now I made the same mistake. I... Let her transform her weapon and beat me to a pulp again. Huh. <sighs> 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 Sorry. Uh, PvE is not normally my, uh, let's say it's not normally my forte. Where are you? I know you're around here. Huh. That's weird. I've got a bad feeling that she's, uh, gonna come up behind me while I'm doing stuff with the, uh, baddie over there. And by baddie, I mean the enemy. And by, uh, when I say baddie, I mean bad guy. Uh, anyways, I've got a bad feeling about this strictly because I don't know where she is. So... This seems to be an episode of just me going through the second floor and getting wrecked. And if that is the case, then well, at least you guys get a show, right? Oh. I haven't done any kind of PvP or any kind of, like, <clears throat> normal player type movement thing. So this is kind of... Uh, the movement of this... Uh, even if she is a fake player or a false player, the movement that she's making are a lot more swift than anything else in this game makes. Uh, there should be a ghost enemy somewhere around here. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. But something that I'm curious about is, uh, because, yes, uh, the ghosts are coming after me, but something that I have thought about, though, is I did ring the bell. So maybe the bell has something to do with the ghosts. Or maybe even the bell has to do with getting rid of the ghosts as every time as I rang it, but no, but no ghosts came for me. Now I'm going to hit it again, I'm going to see if it does anything, if it doesn't, then I'll also be it. 
Uh, I might even do some research on whether or not it does anything. And if it doesn't, then, well, hey, I learned something. Um, I'm going to put that down. I'm going to go back through here. Uh, I learned my lesson, and I realized that there are enemies right down here. Now, in knowing this, I will learn, I will fight, I will kill them, you know, I will find, I will plunder whatever treasures are here. And with that, that puts me ahead of the game, and that makes, and that, uh, and that gives me better, potentially a better item. Now, I'm not sure if it's a better item as in better gear, or if it's upgrade material, I'm not sure. So I will check that out. Uh, though it does appear that the lower area, the lower section that I was intending originally to look out, uh, look into, is actually here. So, considering the fact that it is actually this section right here where is where I wanted to look at, uh, this is actually a unique chest that I've only ever seen one other time, so let's see if it has anything in it, because it didn't have anything significant in it before. Uh, well, it had Madman's Knowledge, and I had to use a couple because I went and bought another set of every kind of gear uh, in, at the Insight Shop. Um, but, now I'm going to press forward... Oh, seems another ghost. Uh, I've got to be careful, uh, though, because I can't uh, forget there are enemies behind me. And that arrow trap is an indefinite, and I mean an indefinite one-hit kill right now for me. Because of the uh, because of the penalty for the curse. Uh, if I do step on it, I can, in fact, uh, bait enemies into it. And I'm actually going to show you. If possible. Oh. Yeah, see? It does massive, massive damage. It's pretty fun to play around with sometimes. In fact, I've even had some fun doing some invasions here with it. Uh, hopefully, if this is the switch, uh, I will catch you guys for the second half of this place. Yeah, this is the switch. So I'm going to uh, go and do some like starting exploring in the next section. And then after that start, uh, that starting of the, uh, some starting ex uh, excuse me. So I'm starting exploration. I'm going to uh, head back. Now, what I am interested in. Oh, and using that save me again. This is the second time this happened. Uh, switches are pretty great in this, honestly, because uh, I uh, AI frames. Uh, or rather, not AI frames. Blah. I mean, I frames, invincibility frames, uh, are very, very nice. Now, I am curious again, though, as to what this bell does, but I should, but I'm going to stop playing with it for right now, and I'm going to look that up, uh, and, uh, you know, kind of spoil it for myself, yes, but I do want to know, because I am curious, uh, and when I, when I find out, I will tell you guys next episode, that is a guarantee, I will tell you guys next episode, and you guys will find that out. Now, this is the weekend, so I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, release a couple of episodes just kind of broad, uh, just straight up, uh, so yeah, um, it seems and it appears that it's the boss, so I'm just going to sprint through really fast. I'm going to try to kill this boss. Uh, I'm not going to heal. I want to try to... Oh, it's just the man eater boy. So... Oh! And by just the man eater boar, I don't think I've ever been hit by it before. Well, except for when I started. Which... It... Whoa! This one seems to be a bit more aggressive than any of the ones I've ever fought. In. Whoa! I don't have a lot of time. Uh, a thing that you can do with this that I haven't mentioned though is you can do pivot uh, backstab. Um, I did that on purpose because I am running out of time. Uh, I wish that I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. If I don't have enough time, I'm gonna say it now. Thank you all for dropping by. It really meant a lot. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut the episode in about 10 seconds. Uh, but thank you all for dropping by. It meant it meant a lot. Uh, uh, thank you for joining me on my adventure through another uh, episode. And uh, bye bye. Have a good day.